I actually made a video on this before but if you haven't watched that video yet then you can probably watch this one to the end and know how to solve this kind of problem in Pizzle App alright if this thing is happening to you and you are using Android version 10 and above and you're experiencing this thing when you're trying to use the emboss feature and the 3d option in this lab then you just have to watch this video to the end right so i think let's just jump into it straight forward good so if you entered any test or any shape and you want to add the emboss feature to it and you're experiencing this there's something that you need to do okay so this is how the test look initially right but if you enable the emboss feature over here this is what is going to happen to your test okay this is what is going to happen to your test but if you're using android version 9 and below this thing will not happen to you right so i really or highly highly recommend one application that you can use to solve this problem that application is test tool and i'm going to leave the link in the video description so that you can use it all right, so I made a video on how test tune work. Okay, it's just like a puzzle lab. It's the, the only two different option is that test tune application it needs internet connection to work, and also there is no option for color filter. That's the only difference uh, between the two applications. Right. So let me open test tune application. So I'll tap on start. All right, and I'll just enter a test over here. Okay. So I'll delete this and enter a test like emboss right here. Then I'll make it capitalized. Guys, look at it. It's just like the Pizzle Lab application we've been using. So yeah, let me change the fonts. I've already imported some fonts over here. So quickly, let me pick them up. So I'll tap on fonts. And after that, you know, I've have some of them over here in my recent. But if you want, you know, you can install fonts over here as well, just like Pizzle Lab, okay? So I've literally installed my 4000 font package. The one I gave out, I literally installed it over here as well. Just like I did in my Pizzle Lab application. Okay. So I'm going to use this one, which is Go Bold Bold. Yeah. So I'll just increase the size of it a bit and probably, you know, go ahead and apply the emboss feature to it. And let's see how it's going to look. This is the emboss right here. So you can see as i've applied it there is no change okay the test still remains the same okay there is no change it still remains the same so if you are facing that kind of emboss problem in puzzle lab then this application is what you have to use the only difference is that you need internet connection for this application to work but for puzzle lab you don't need internet connection guys so i hope this video actually helps right the same thing applies when you want to apply 3d effects and stuff to this particular test or any other thing you actually want to use okay so let me just scroll through and go to any 3d test over here okay so you can enable this and yeah it's going to work perfectly but if you are doing this in physical lab and you are using android version 10 and above you are probably going to experience some hitches over there okay so i highly recommend you use this application anytime you want to deal with something like emboss or 3d features in puzzle lab just go ahead and use this application right so the link is in the video description go ahead and grab it then start using it right now so this goes to here from certain ads and i hope this video actually helps you if it does help then don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel and yo i hope to see you in my next video let's up